Hi, my name is Elvis Omoid. I'm from Uganda and uh, this is Bees for Hope. Uh, we are here in Bududa and uh, we are going to take you on a digital journey of what Bees for Hope is doing here in Bududa. Stay tuned in. Everyone, I am. I am Stephen Bright Sakwa. My name is Samantha Natumanya. We are Team Bees for Hope from Makere University, Kampala. Hi, everyone. Uh, we are here in Bududa, Mount Elgon uh, National Park, and uh, I'm here with two colleagues of mine, Samantha and Bright, who are part of uh, Team Bees for Hope. And I would love to ask them some few questions. Yeah, so I'll start with you, Bright. Uh, why? Why did you choose to come and do a project in Bududa? Why this area? Why this community? Well, the Mount Elgon area, as we know, is a national park. So it's a biodiversity hotspot. But this area is also surrounded by communities, which have over time encroached on the landscape, as you can see over there. So the reason why we are specifically looking at this area is to see that uh, both people and nature flourish, but also reduce the problem of landslides, which comes as a result of degradation of this landscape. Okay, thank you very much, Bright, uh, for such uh, insightful views of why you chose this community. So I'll go to Samantha now. Uh, how are you planning to implement uh, this project? What exactly are you doing with Peace for Hope? And uh, how are you working with this community? Okay, thank you, Elvis. Okay, thank you, Elvis. Uh, as part of the interventions that we are doing to cut the degradation of the National Park, we are working with Uganda Wildlife Authority to establish an agriculture pro project in the buffer areas of the National Park. We are also working with Tornado um, to do the agriculture training. We are training the community how to, uh, how to keep bees, but also how to earn a living and how to get income from the, from the project. We are also working with A2N to mobilize these communities. We also have a restoration project. We are planting, we are restoring the degraded parts of the national park. So we hope that the bees, together with the trees, as the bees provide an alternative source of livelihood, the trees will do the restoration part. And together we hope that the national park shall be restored, but also the communities shall be improved, their livelihood shall be improved with another source of income.